tell me why, how this movie got made and why it's important what you did for equal pay for women. We are working in clothes and um, we were machines doing a pack of And um, we didn't know at the time that the, the men were getting more pay than us, although we were experienced machines. Right. So we, they was graded and we, we, us, we were just like being a sweeper, you know. Because people could get on the end job, but you know, this is what was happening. And then we found out two men, because men used to do the night work, and women weren't allowed to do the night work. So then, I don't know what happened, but two men were brought down into the shop to do day work. Right. And oh, see, that's not in the out. movie. I think one of them let it out. Mm -hmm. this, is, this is what we think the reason. Yeah. Because nobody knew for years, you know, mm -hmm. that let it out that what they were getting. So they brought two men into doing the same work that you do, and they were getting paid more. Yeah. yeah. And so you guys shut down the factory. Yeah. yeah. How long was the shutdown for? Uh, the first time was three weeks. That was in. No, that was in. Um, Eighty-four. No, sixty. Did you have any idea what you were doing was going to change everything for women in no, your country? No. Okay, and Lily, did you have any idea that what you were doing was going to change things for everybody? I started out just standing up for myself right. and ended up standing up for everybody else because uh, I couldn't do me any good. It was too late, according to the Supreme Court, right. which it was not legally correct. Right. But uh, I couldn't let that go either, so I had to continue the fight until we got Paycheck Fairness. I mean, excuse me, the Lily Ledbetter Fair Pay Act. <laughs> Still working on the new bill now. <laughs> I'm in a new one now, but uh, I just couldn't let it go because it was not only uh, bad for my daughter and my granddaughter, but all of you young women who are working today. Yep. I just couldn't let it. And, it, and now it's for the families because right. it takes two people working to support a family. That's for sure. It does. This is what I said. And so you're both kind of accidental activists here. Yes. And do you think that, get, get a little closer together so I can put you, uh, oh, thank you so much. So, I mean, you don't see accidental activists change the world every day. So it's really impressive. Do you call yourself feminist? I don't know what we call ourselves, really. <laughs> I, I don't know. I guess now I am, but I didn't before. Uh -huh. I, just con I just consider myself an average American woman. Well, Working most feminists are average American <laughs> women. The right. same in Right. I just average. never thought about it right. until now. So, what is the most important thing you want young women to get out of this movie? First, Vera. Most important thing is to women must fight, keep fighting on. For the e equal work, equal pay, and not only that, what I've said today is when there's a couple married, they must stick together. And you have to look at me, Vera. It's okay. They have to stick together. Okay. And they have, they have to go with, say that one wants to go on holiday with a friend, okay. let them, and the same as with the husband. Okay. And uh, so that everybody. Is happy that way. Okay. And Lily, what do you want young women to get out of this film? I have not seen the film okay. yet, but uh, the film and listening to Vera and myself and anyone else, young women need to understand they need to make sure that they're treated fairly and equally what they're entitled to under the law. Great. Thank you.